Hi, it's Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions, and today we have a Clenergy Solar Inverter. This is a SPH15 model, and uh, if we have a look at the screen here in, a, in just a moment, it, it's showing isolation fault. You can see that there, isolation fault, and the status is the red lights on the yeah, which is telling us there's a fault lot, fault uh, going on in the system. Now, isolation fault with the Clenergy inverters means that there, there could be a problem on the solar panel side. Uh, in my experience, I have, I've never seen that this error actually being caused by a problem from the solar panel side. It actually ends up being an internal fault with the inverter. But uh, the Clenergy inverter manual does recommend that uh, you have a solar accredited electrician uh, check out your solar panels and uh, check that the impedance on the uh, cables to the solar panels is greater than 8 mega ohm. Now, uh, you obviously, you would need a solar accredited electrician to do that. Uh, like I said, every time I've had a look at uh, one of these isolation fault issues, it has, has actually ended up being a problem with the solar inverter. Now, whenever you have a problem with a solar inverter, it's a good idea to just try uh, rebooting them and seeing that will uh, actually clear the fault because at times it can do, just something simple. It might be something like a, a glitch in the uh, the firmware inside the inverter, just needs rebooting and that will sort it out. So whenever you reboot a, a inverter, it's always important you follow the shutdown procedure, which should be something like this, turning off the solar supply main switch, which is located in your switchboard, or if you've got it present, an inverter AC isolator. We've got an inverter AC isolator here, so we're just gonna throw that off. And then turn off the PV Ray DC isolator located at the inverter. So over here we've got the PV Ray DC isolator. We're just going to turn that off, and we're just going to wait for this inverter to go dead, which it's uh, done quite quickly. And then we turn it back on. The uh, startup procedure doesn't matter as long as you turn on the AC and the DC. So we just throw them both on there, and wait to see what happens with the inverter. And as you can see there, it's come up with isolation fault again. So in this case, it's definitely a fault with the, uh, with the solar inverter. Now, uh, with the Clinergy inverters, if, if you do check the panels and get the panels checked and they are fine, and it is a problem with the inverter, Clinergy do have a five-year warranty on their inverters. And if you make a warranty claim, a couple of things that you will need to know and that's the serial number of the inverter, which is in a little bit of a hard spot with these uh, clergy inverters, is actually on the top. Now, we'll just uh, try and you can actually see it just, uh, just here, the uh, serial number there, and the data of the inverter. And so uh, you'll need that serial number. You also need proof of purchase of uh, when it was originally installed, which has got to be within the last five years. So uh, look, if you're on the Gold Coast uh, or Southeast Queensland area, Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions can certainly help you. Uh, if, you if you're elsewhere, look, just go to our website. We, we, we should be able to uh, help you in some way there. And look, I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.